just been listening to Nicolas Maduro, the ruling party candidate. Uh, they're making his victory speech. He was, of course, just been announced the winner of the Venezuelan elections, winning by 51 percent of the votes. And there he was talking about respecting the results. Let's cross to Lucia Newman now, who's also been listening in on the victory speech. Lucia, what do you make of his words? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's, it's a victory speech of sorts. He does say that he will call for an audit so that there will be no question that he won. Clearly a concession to the opposition, which must be demanding a recount. Uh, he actually, uh, until now at least, his victory is by 50.67%. It doesn't even quite reach 51%. So he must be bitterly disappointed. He, he gave a huge campaign. He traveled all over the country, uh, sometimes in two and three three states in one day, as did Enrique Capriles. It was a, a grueling campaign, and uh, he must have thought until just a few days ago that he wouldn't be having to say what he's saying right now, and that is calling for an audit to absolutely prove that he did indeed win this presidential election, as he is saying. So we're not seeing the kind of joyous outburst uh, out, uh, down uh, amongst the crowd that we usually see uh, when there's a victory celebration after an election here in Venezuela. His supporters are just listening carefully, calmly, but, but there isn't this outburst of joy. I think there must be a great deal of disappointment and soul-searching right now amongst the, the Socialist Party ranks. Certainly a very interesting uh, reaction amongst the Maduro camp there, Lucia. Let's actually go to uh, Gabriel Elizondo, who's with the uh, Maduro supporters now. Gabriel, what do they make of their leader's words? I'm sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Certainly. Well, Gabriel, no doubt the Maduro supporters are definitely um, uh, celebrating their uh, results, the results that they've wanted for a very long time, and they finally have their results. Their candidate is in office or has been announced to have won the Venezuelan election by 51 percent, we're hearing now. But um, Nicolas Maduro has just been making a victory speech and he has called for calm. He has called for the respect of the results. He's also said that he's open to an auditing of the election results to make sure that there have been no irregularities. How do you think his supporters are taking his victory speech? They're celebrating. They're not waiting for any sort of audit. To, to, to celebrate, as you might be able to see a little bit behind me. Uh, and it's very loud, as you can imagine, as well. Uh, sure, uh, Maduro is saying he's going to accept an audit, and as uh, Lucia said, that's an obvious early concession to the opposition. But the rank-and-file Maduro supporters are celebrating a victory tonight. Uh, even if it was a narrow victory, in the coming hours and days, there will be more analysis of how divided this country is. There is celebration here, as you can tell, in 23rd of January neighborhood of Maduro and Chavez stronghold. But I also get a little bit of a sense here, and this is very important, that it's a little bit, a little bit of a subdued celebration. I think there's an understanding here, my impression, that they realize how close this was. And they're celebrating, but they also know that this was almost a defeat. And so I think you will have, probably, with the rank and file that you see behind me, Maduro Chavistas, as well as the high command, sort of a look, uh, an introspection, looking at themselves about how close this was that they almost lost. Right now, though, they're going to take the next few hours and maybe the next day or so to celebrate. A subdued celebration, as you said, Gabriel Alessandro, but no doubt still a celebration. Gabriel Alessandro there speaking with the Maduro's uh, supporters. Let's cross to, uh, to uh, Teresa Bo, I beg your pardon, Teresa Bo, who's at the Capriles headquarters. Now, Teresa, we've seen the supporters and celebrating at the Maduro camp. What about the Enrique Caprile camp? What's happening there? 
well, very few people left here, but I can tell you that when those results were announced, people here were crying, they were devastated, they were saying that they couldn't stand another six years of a Chavista government. They're saying that they're tired about inflation, about crime, about the current situation in the country, about how polarized this country continues to be. Uh, also, what people here were telling me is that this is fraud, they're demanding the uh, vote recount once again. We will have to wait and see what Enrique Capriles has to say about this whole uh, election also. But uh, what this, this is evident is how polarized this country is. And there's a very large sector in this country that is not happy with what's been going on here. All right, Teresa, we'll leave it there. And we will come back to you for more of an update uh, a little later on.